I have been with Jivanon 18 years. When I first started, it was a really um, male-dominated French industry. I just fell in love with perfumery and really wanted to become a perfumer. You put so much out there when you design, and when you see others were in the subway and you, you, know, you smell that they're wearing one of your designs, best moment ever. I do like fragrances that are big and powerful. We don't do subtle here. When we talk about niche perfumes, we talk about fragrances that are highly selective, that can be daring, that can propose new and different things, that can be then followed by everyone. Being a perfumer with an American background growing up with Korean parents is not conventional. It was unknown. It was unbelievable to me that this existed as a career. What I think is interesting about being a perfumer today is that we have new perspectives on diversity. I don't have any rules, actually, that I'm bound to, and so I can just be who I want to be. How can we kind of break down those boundaries, even in the rules of fragrance, of just why is it because things have been done one way, do we have to continue doing them that way? So typically when I formulate a fragrance, I'll go as far as I can. I'll even go beyond what I think is normal. And then I'll smell it, because you sometimes never know. You never know what you're going to discover. You keep pushing until you discover that new wow. Scent has the power to unite people and bring them together because it's uniquely emotional. There's almost nothing like it out there.